you want to doubt us. Everybody talking all week about how we didn't even stand a chance in this game. And our guys came out and played. I'm just proud of them. Norwell is one whale of a team. They're going to go far in 3A. They're going to go, they're going to go far in 3A. And I'm just proud to be in a conference that can produce a conference championship game. It's 25 to 24 with this much excitement. And just I'm just proud of our community. Proud of my community. I, my administration has been patient with me. I've been here nine years for this, and I, I couldn't be happier for, for my guys, not just the guys that are here today, but the guys that graduated for me in 2014 all the way up until now. This is for you guys. We love you. I love every single one of my guys. I preach that to them. I tell them that constantly. Coach. Great day to be an Eagle. Coach, I mean... Talk about the fact you guys were down 12 points with seven minutes to go in this quarter. The resilience of this team. They're unbelievable. Our guys believe. They just believe. Um, you know, we, we say that we want to we wanna serve each other. We want to honor each other. We want to respect each other. We want to pray for each other. It's what we talked about all offseason. Um, you know, we put we have a countdown clock that counts down to all these games, and we've been excited about it. Um, and just, I, I'm just thrilled. I'm just thrilled. This program has come a long way with you. I mean, you're talking 10 plus years uh, since the conference championship. Uh, I see the tears in the eyes tonight. That means a lot to you, doesn't it? it? That's only our sixth conference championship and we've had football for 102 years. That's only the seventh or eighth time that we have eight wins in a season. And, and, and people... <laughs> and, you, you can look at my record. I still have a losing record. But I'll tell you what, those guys will tell you something different. And, and I just, just for people to believe in their coaching staff and their coaches, I've got a hell of a staff with me. Uh, excuse my language. All right, tell Glenn to edit that or tell anybody else to edit that. And I'm just proud of them and just uh, uh, fighting here. And, and uh, I partly cry because one of the last games that my Bob saw me coach was on this field. We won in overtime, and I thought about it all the way over here. It was six years ago now, seven years ago. I'm just at a loss for words. Oh, we knew we were going to do it. Uh, we've been fighting all year, practicing hard. We just came out ready to compete. Talk me through that last drive to take the lead, um, that run to get inside the five, and then that, that uh, touchdown run. We knew we just had to play it smart and use our weapons. I'm sure that Coach Tony yes, has talked Colin to you about, Piper, how, best quarterback in the nation. about how this team hasn't won a conference championship for quite a while. Uh, coach was had tears in eyes when we were talking to him. Yeah. How much does that mean to you, winning this conference title for your coach? Oh, it means a lot. Um, he's been through a lot of ups and downs through the past few years, and I'm glad we could do it, get it done for him. Everything was just going on. We had to keep persistent, keep going, never give up. You know, you just have to put everything on the line when the moment is rough. You, you just can't give up. Anything can happen. This this team uh, mm -hmm. hasn't won a conference championship in quite a while. Nope. When we were talking to Coach, he had tears in, eyes, mm -hmm. in his eyes about this. What does this mean to this team tonight to win on this field and to come back from a 12-point deficit? Yeah. And it means a lot, man. All of us guys together, we got really good brotherhood. So to come together as a team and win a conference championship, that means so much to all of us.